Diamonds are among the most valuable and fascinating natural gemstones on Earth. These incredible crystals are made entirely of carbon, formed deep beneath the Earth's surface under extreme heat and pressure. In fact, most natural diamonds were created more than a billion years ago, at depths of around 150 to 200 kilometers within the Earth's mantle. Over millions of years, volcanic eruptions brought them closer to the surface through special types of volcanic rocks known as kimberlite. Kimberlite is a rare igneous rock that acts as the main host for diamonds. It forms in narrow, pipe-shaped structures called kimbermite pipes, which are like natural elevators that transport diamonds from deep inside the earth up to the surface. When prospectors search for diamonds, they actually look for signs of kimberlite first. If kimberlite is found, it often means there's a chance that diamonds could be nearby. However, not all kimberlite contains diamonds. Only a small percentage of kimberlite pipes are diamond-bearing, which makes discovering a productive one extremely valuable. The relationship between diamond and kimberlite is very close. Diamonds are formed deep underground, and kimberlite eruptions are the only natural process that can bring them up intact before they transform into graphite. That's why finding kimberlite in an area is a strong geological indicator that diamond formation might have occurred below. In regions like Africa, Canada, and Russia, geologists use satellite data, magnetic surveys, and field exploration to locate kimberlite pipes. In fact, the largest diamond mines in the world, such as those in Botswana and Siberia, are located directly inside ancient kimberlite pipes. When it comes to identifying diamonds in nature, there are several key features that help distinguish them from other stones. Real diamonds are extremely hard. They're the hardest natural material known, ranking 10 on the Mohs scale of hardness. They can scratch any other mineral, including quartz, topaz, or corundum. Their crystal shape is usually octahedral, meaning they often appear like two pyramids join at the base. Genuine rough diamonds usually have a greasy, slightly dull surface rather than a shiny one, and they tend to attract grease and oil while repelling water. This property is actually used in diamond separation processes inside mines. Another way to identify a diamond is through light behavior. Diamonds have a unique refractive index that gives them their famous sparkle when cut. Even in rough form, if you look closely under sunlight or a flashlight, you'll notice a subtle inner shine that seems to come from deep inside the stone, not just from the surface. Unlike glass or quartz, a diamond won't fought up easily if you breathe on it because it disperses heat very quickly. If you find a stone inside a kimberlite rock, look closely at its structure. Kimberlite is typically dark green to blue-gray in color and may contain tiny shiny minerals like garnet, ilmenite, or olivine, all of which are important indicator minerals for diamonds. A real diamond in kimberlite will often be embedded in small cavities or cracks surrounded by other high-pressure minerals. Using a simple magnifier, you can sometimes spot the crystal's sharp edges and see if it has the natural luster that sets it apart from fake materials. Another way to identify a diamond is through light behavior. Diamonds have a unique refractive index that gives them their famous sparkle when cut. Even in rough form, if you look closely under sunlight or a flashlight, you'll notice a subtle inner shine that seems to come from deep inside the stone, not just from the surface. Unlike glass or quartz, a diamond won't fought up easily if you breathe on it because it disperses heat very quickly. If you find a stone inside a kimberlite rock, look closely at its structure. Kimberlite is typically dark green to blue-gray in color and may contain tiny shiny minerals like garnet, ilmenite, or olivine, all of which are important indicator minerals for diamonds. A real diamond in kimberlite will often be embedded in small cavities or cracks surrounded by other high-pressure minerals. Using a simple magnifier, you can sometimes spot the crystal's sharp edges and see if it has the natural luster that sets it apart from fake materials.